from the East Rochester Fire Department, Chief Steve Williams. Over the past year, we've lost one example. Edward Dink McPhee. From the Egypt Fire Department, Chief Pat Whalen. Field Fire Department, Chief Jeff Withall. The Penfield Fire Company lost five members this past year. Past Chief Guy McGowan. Exempt William Lou McMaster. Past Chief and Commissioner Frank Rusevsky. Firefighter Malcolm Nolan. Auxiliary member Margaret Herkowitz. From Parents and Volunteer Ambulance, Operations Manager Ben Sensenbach. This year, Parents and Ambulance was sad to mourn the loss of uh, a dispatcher of ours in 91 dispatcher. Southeast Quadrant, Administrator Julie Jordan. This year, Southeast Quadrant was fortunate enough to not lose any money. At this time, the Fairport Fire Department Band will play taps. I ask myself, what, what brings us here, this, this beautiful day? Is it the memory of family and friends lost in service? Yes. Is it the hope for safety and the dedication to preserve life? Yes. But I think it's also deep inside every one of us, in our bones, there is that desire to stay together, to unite ourselves in a common effort, an effort that's rooted in commitment to our community, to one another. It is good for us to come together to remember those who give their lives in service of our community. It is good for us to recognize that we do this year after year as a constant reminder 
present memory of the love and the service of others. We also do it so we do not forget. We do not forget how close our lives come to the edge so often and so easily. We come together to support one another, to encourage one another, try to reinforce in one another the goodness that is in each of our hearts. We believe that we are hardwired by God for good, for the good of each other and the common good that we share. While we bring to that common good a diversity of opinions and understandings, our good and generous hearts place our gifts at the service of one another. Come together today to ask God's blessing on our efforts. To ask the Lord to help us never to succumb to the small things that so often get in the way of the big picture. The little things that can crowd out the dedication and the commitment that we share to our people. And as we commend the Lord once again those who have died and gone before us, we remember their commitment source of encouragement to ours. I want to share with you a little piece of writing that's based on the 23rd Psalm, with which I'm sure you are familiar. It was written by a firefighter nearby North Tonawanda. He prays, The Lord is my chief. He has chosen me to serve. He leads me to still the fires raging around me. He restores my soul to fight even when all seems lost. He has prepared for me a place in life dedicated to service, honor, joy, and fellowship. He anoints my soul with courage in the presence of enemy fire. Yes, even when I have chosen to walk through life in the shadow of death, I will fear no fire, for he is with me. His strength will be my comfort. And when life's final alarm for me has sounded, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.